Hey, so welcome back to the channel, Max TR3 Revival. I'm JP. Uh, today's list is a little bit different. I'm going to try and accomplish a couple different things. I've uh, cleaned off most everything off of the frame. Uh, as you can tell, um, I just had stuff pile up on top of it. I'm going to try and get it out from over there and kind of resituate it over here so I can kind of walk around and be able to take a look. I had to move some stuff in the garage in order to make that happen. And I pulled out the uh, rear springs, get a little better look at them and try and figure out how I need to get the uh, new bushes in. Surprisingly, they look in really, really good shape. I can even make out a stamp number right here, which is amazing because they're as old as they are. So I don't know if at some point they may have been changed or not um seems kind of odd to me if they had have been and they look proper as far as the style for the year of the car so i can only guess that they're original because i don't know my my uh, father-in-law ever took them apart so i'm trying to get them cleaned up see if we can't get a little paint on them so i'm pretty sure most people would be like I know this pipe is only going inside another pipe to help strengthen up the frame, but I wanted to make sure it was pretty clean and then I'm going to put a coat of primer on it and then a uh, top coat. Got those painted. So I just need to grind the end so I can uh, weld them in. So that's a couple things on the list. Um, let's see how we can get going. Okay, here we go. When that needs to come out from there, but you're trying to do it by yourself. Should be a lot of fun. All right, success, and I didn't uh, hurt anything or drop the frame. Let's see, overall, now that I got it flipped back over, it's all looking pretty good. It's uh, pretty clean. Got a couple little pinholes. You can see down here where I did my repair. I think I can just clean up that backside a little bit, fill it with a little weld, probably put some... Uh, Copper on the outside, try and hit it from the back. Just fill those little holes. All the rest of the wells that I've looked over look pretty good, including the rear where the shocks are. They've pulled away a little bit, but uh, they're still very, very solid. I might go back and add a little bead right in there. But everything around the outside looks good. Um, part of the reason why I did this is so I could get to that rear hanger. I'll get those popped in. I don't know what I got going on right here. Looks like that's kind of folded over. I don't know if I need to straighten it out or if I should cut it and straighten it out. Uh, if you don't think that's going to hurt anything, let me know. So I had a guy on one of the other forums tell me, uh, make sure I don't get these uh, sandblasted or painted. So make sure I take those off. Look in pretty good shape. Gonna clean them up a little. This is where the uh, lower portion of the A-arm connects. And this mount that I did the repair on, which is actually on that side, is where that stop sits. In case you didn't know. So just want to make sure I clean these up, take them off, so I'm going to um, extra wear and tear on them. Now that surface looks pretty good to me. 
There's the other side, a little bit dirty. This side. All right, so I'll put this out there. I had transportation lined up. I'm supposed to go take the frame to get it sandblasted on Thursday, September 9th, which is next week. And my transportation fell through. So if you got a truck that you uh, could lend me for a day or want to take a ride with me on Thursday the 9th, uh, PM me or something, because I'll be more than happy to pay your gas picking up a trailer, putting the frame on the trailer, taking it over, sandblast, and come back all in one day. Uh, if you can, let me know. If not, I'll probably have to make some changes in my plans. So I've got it beveled, I've got the uh, welder fired up, of course that's the uh, noise in the background. So we can't get a little bead around this and uh, finish that installation. Alright, well, I uh, had some footage where I was welding it in, but uh, I guess I didn't start the, uh, start the video. So, just trying to adjust it out a little bit. Well, there we go with the uh, final product on this side. It's uh, ugly, but almost as ugly as the one on top. Side number two is complete. Good to go. So I did a little more digging on this side just to see. I think I'm good. I did talk to the sandblaster about marking a few areas to kind of go light on. This is probably one of them, especially deep in that corner right there. So, so here's the last thing I got, which is I've cleaned up one of the springs. Hey, it looks pretty good. So I got a buddy that's got a press. He said he'd be more than happy to let me use it so I can uh, take the bushes out and swap those over. He's got a wire wheel, the one other one, and then I'll paint it.